What I'm going to do at this point, um, I jump in here to options and I jump here to show any tables. We want to go here and we have a little bit of a, a dipping effect. We want to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to go and just grab the values here. Let's use our cursor and kind of watch where we're on the screen. I can see here, I'm looking to kind of fill this dip in. We can see from this point to this point. So we've selected it right here in our, uh, our, our table. I'm going to use control P. You can see it's just filled that in. Then I'm going to go here. There's a couple little dips in the table here. I'm just going to make this as linear as possible. So when I make my field changes, I'm able to just jump in here and uh, make broad changes going across the rows and using the control J feature to add percentage changes. You'll be seeing how that's going to go. So let's go in here. I'm just going to go and bump this up as well. So we've highlighted this. I'm going to do control I. That's going to go and just bump the values up. Now, what I'm going to do from here, copy this in 10. I'm going to copy it, go right into 9. I'm going to paste it. So simply highlight 9, control V. That's going to pasting it. Then control D here. I'm going to turn this column of fuel down here. Just get it linear. So control C again. So go from 9. We'll copy it, paste it into 8. Control D. We'll turn it down. And do that same thing again. Control C, column 8, to control into column 7. And we'll do our paste, copy, paste. Control D, let's turn that column down. And I'm just going to go quickly now across this. You get the idea how to do it. So I'm simply going to go here and just linearize the entire table. That way when we begin tuning, it's going to make our lives much easier, as you will see. Go here and do the same process. So we'll just keep doing that across the table here. And almost done here. We've got two more left. Now what I'm going to do here is only alter my fuel and ignition timing tables for my low cam and my high cam at zero degree. I'm not going to go and extrapolate these tables out any further than that. I'm going to be copying my zero degree, pasting it into my 10 degree, and then I can make some changes from there. It's going to speed up the tuning process. I don't need to go through and do every single uh, table here, as we'll find. Um, so there, we've went in and linearized the table. If we look, our values are nice and linear. So I'll go here, I'll save this again to my base calibration. I'm going to jump now into options. I'm going to go here to show three bar. Now we're going to have to correct this. So we're going to sort of just match the spacing that we found here already. I'll grab my column, looks like here, column 10. Control C, I'll paste it into 11. And then I'm going to use Control I and raise up my, my uh, column here, fuel. And we can see we've spaced that pretty linear to where it was previously. Control C. Copy our 11 into 12, control V, and then control I, which will increase the entire column. Again, we'll just space this out accordingly. So I'm going to just keep that process going here. Nothing complicated right now, just simply copying, pasting, and then using control I 